lots of love from, guess who? That's right, Bonnie and Epi. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. It's Greg, and I'm here in the adventure shed with the magic mustard tin. And I can see in it the number two, which must mean that Thimble the Christmas Mouse has been and left us some magic messages. Shall we have a look inside and see what's in there? Now, before we open it, we're going to need the passcode. And I know that today is a rhyming passcode. We're going to need five rhyming words. The first word is the word cat. Let's see if we can think of four more words that rhyme with cat. Ready? Uh, cat, bat, chat, mat, oh, hat. Cat, bat, chat, mat, hat. They all rhyme, don't they? Let's see if that's worked. See if we can take the lid off. Oh, yeah, it did. Yes. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look. The first magic message is a word. Let's see if we can read it together. Splash, splash. Do you like splashing? You do? Yeah, I do too. Although I love splashing when I'm wearing wellies, but I don't like splashing where I'm wearing trainers or shoes because the water gets in and I really do not like a soggy sock. Someone else that likes splashing is Bonnie. She doesn't mind what size puddle to go in, however deep it is or however muddy it is, just in she goes. Whereas Epi doesn't like splashing. She likes to stay dry, so she walks around the puddle. I think Epi's quite sensible. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, look. Hey, now I know. Ready to see this? This is a memory message. Look. A teeny tiny hedgehog. Have you ever seen a hedgehog, a real one? They're quite hard to spot because they come out at night. They're nocturnal. And now this is a memory message. We need to put the word hedgehog in our heads. Is it in your head, hedgehog? Yeah, it is. Keep it in there. Oh, hang on. Look. The purple pom-pom of power. Now, if you've got the purple pom-pom of power, it means that you can have a special ability when it's put in your pocket. If I put this in my pocket, I think I might choose to... Hmm, I know, fly, just like Brahms the Robin. I've always wanted to see what it's like to be a bird. What special ability would you have if you put the purple pom-pom of power in your pocket, I wonder? Hmm, that's something to think about. Let's see what else we've got. What's the next magic message? <gasps> oh my goodness me. Now, Brahms the Robin was telling me all about this. Apparently, there's a little place on Adventure Island called Tiny Town. And in Tiny Town, you'll find all the characters that live in traditional stories. And look, I can see a tiny little bucket. And I know that this is from the story, The Magic Porridge Pot. But I wonder why they needed a bucket. Hmm, do you know? That's another thing to think about. She's giving us lots to think about today, isn't she, Thimble? <gasps> oh, Hang on, a story dreaming magic message. It says, fox in a car. Can you put that in your head? A fox in a car, driving one? You can. Yeah, my fox is, oh yeah, she's driving a yellow car. And she's on the way to the shops. And do you know what she's going to buy when she gets there? She's going to buy some smart new green welly boots so she can go splashing in puddles too. I wonder what colour car your fox is driving and I wonder if he's going to the shops. And I wonder what it's going to buy there when it arrives. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, there's one final thing. Look! A magic message for the min pins. Now, here on Adventure Island, we've got the min pin tree. But I know lots of you have got min pin trees right by where you live. 
So why don't you have a go? Draw a triangle. You could write an mmm inside, but you could write whatever you like and then go and fold it up and go and put it by the minpins to remind them about the joy of being together and of all the adventures that are waiting for us next year. But before I go, what was that memory message? What word did you have in your brain? It was something that was nocturnal. Hmm, you know what it was? That's right, the hedgehog. Right, we're going to go and leave this. You go and leave yours too. And we'll see you tomorrow. I wonder what Thimble, the Christmas mouse, is going to leave for us when it's number three. See you later. Bye bye.